Chase Zack and the Blue Futon. And we have another movie coming out of the box. Out of the wall. And this one is... The Climber. This is an Arrow video release. I do like Arrow... Air, arrow. Arrow. Broken Arrow. Arrow. John Woo Arrow. Anyway, an Arrow release because they bring out these old movies or these European movies, Asian movies that I just never heard of. And I'm like, yeah, I'll give this one a try. And the cover of The Climber is pretty nice. Look at that. Yes, it, I, I had a yawn, so I'm guilty. But let's see what The Climber is about. <laughs> So what is The Climber about? Well, it's pretty simple. It's about a guy that wants to climb the ranks of an Italian mafia syndicate. But the problem is he gets taken out. Not like taken out like... <laughs> no, he gets thrown out because he was actually stealing a little bit of money from these people. Like he goes to the restaurant because he's like, we're raising the price. But they weren't really raising the price. He was just trying to pocket some of the money so he could have some leeway in doing stuff in his own way. But the problem is he got caught, bad guy. So now he has to go to, he gets kind of kicked out of Naples. Now he has to go to Rome and he's really upset. He's just really motivated to get this reign, to get the nightclubs to pay him, to just be part of the climb, to be part of a ma mafia ring. That's what he wants to do. So in doing so, he go, grabs some friends and he kind of recruits people, a French guy that knows how to shoot, a motorcycle gang and other people just to climb the ranks and they get back at the person who kicked him out in Naples. So what I like about this movie, it is an interesting new look at climbing the ladder in the mafia world. This is a very low budget one. This is not like The Godfather. This is not like other mafia movies out there. This is literally a very low budget Italian movie about a guy climbing the ranks. Are there faults with this movie? Absolutely. The love interest in this movie literally happens in 30 seconds. Like, So they meet, and then of course they make love, and then she starts crying. She's like, this is the happiest moment of my life. It's like, really? You just met this guy 20 minutes ago? He, You guys drove in a car? And it's the happiest moment of your life? How old are you? If you're in your mid-20s, which it looks like you're mid-20s and 30s, that, that, that that's the happiest mo mo moment? Really? Anyway, so that's another thing. So then the motorcycle scenes are actually pretty cool. There's a lot of like dirt bike scenes and like you look at the gear they're wearing, which is only protective right here. They don't get back protection, which as riding a motorcycle and dirt bikes before, you want protection all around, not just your front end. Anyway, those are some cool scenes with like the motorcycle jumps, everything like that. There are some weird ones though of like them driving through a restaurant and you can just kind of tell that they're just breaking tables with motorcycles and... The camera's trying to go to the right angles to get to the right cool shots. And the fight scenes are just kind of also the same way. as They're not really that in-depth. They're like punch, and then we'll kind of zoom out, and we'll just have a lot of people running like that. There's a funny scene about sailors. Like You can just totally tell it was completely fake of Italy, the American sailors, and a kind of a bar fight with this gang and sailors. So it was kind of funny that way. But the movie just overall, I mean, I understand what it's going for. Like, this guy wanting to climb the ranks. But the execution just doesn't work of what was actually the story. The execution, like I said, it's there. You understand what they're doing and how they're trying to do it. But there's no depth to this movie. That's probably the biggest thing is just basically a guy climbing. The actual motivation is just him climbing it. Like kind of like a Scarface, if you want to put it that way. But actually, Scarface, there's more in depth of what's happening here. It is literally him climbing the ranks. Everything's going smooth. Like not a lot of fault because he's getting the restaurants he wants. He's getting the clubs he wants. He's getting the drug business he wants, even though he doesn't want to be in it. He's getting the girl, even though the girl backstory is absolutely very fake. Of course, there's also one thing that happens. The girl. It's, <sighs> I was thinking one thing with the girl in this movie. I have one of those uh, skin things. She's very weak. Uh, it's almost acting like she needs him, even though she doesn't want to be part of that thing anymore. Uh, and just her scenes were probably the worst in the movie, and that really brought it down for me because there's also a scene where she's walking down the street, and the guy's like, Oh, how's it going? And she's like, and then, of course, his henchmen take him away because like, she's bothering, or they're bothering her. She's like, She's just being nice to me. He was not being nice. He was kind of being a creep of like, ooh, let me take you home. Yeah, you're beautiful. Let me take you home. Yeah, I'm going to take you home. And that's being nice. 
I just her dialogue was the weakest, and her just storyline, her connection with him, just didn't work for me. It was just so bland and blah, and it's fake, and it's like her shallowness is like, come on, she shouldn't be shallow at all. Like she should be like, no, f you, I'm getting out of here instead of just her going into the drugs and to the liquor because she can. This is, yeah, that was the one thing that kind of pissed me off the most. And then, of course, the very end, like, it was a hit. And they don't explain who, what, why, how. We understand how it happened, but there's one scene where all the uh, high mafia people go in this container and they slam the door and you just kind of expect, oh, they got murdered. But all of a sudden now there's a hit on the main character. You're like, who put out the hit? There's no, it, it's... There's no depth. There's no shallow. It's basically like, we're going to make this guy climb. We're going to make this guy happen. And we're going to have this conclusion and scene. So I was like, okay, whatever. But The Climber, it's interesting how movies were made back then and how this one is portrayed. Overall, though, shallow characters just just didn't work for me. But anyway, The Climber will receive a 2.5 out of 5, which we don't think is at 50%. So see the critics news scores gave this one. So we have no critics. And no audience score. And it says coming soon. December 31st, 1975. So I don't know if we're in a time zone of what's happening. There's absolutely no critic reviews of this one. None. Fascinating. But it's from 1975. But anyway, yeah. Uh, shallow characters, no depth to this movie. Cool scenes, however. Realistic violence. But yeah, it's just like it brought nothing new even for a 75 movie. Like movie from 1975 you expect something maybe different but there was nothing anyway do you read my 50 percent or nothing in general chase you out the blue futon like comment subscribe one of the things blue on topia you blue tonians thanks for watching and have a great day peace and love peace and love let me know what i could change up to make this spicier